Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have been MIA for a couple of days. I um, obviously have been taking care of baby Ethan and a couple of things that have been going on. My sister just moved here from California. Um, I'm here in Omaha, so she just moved here on Wednesday. So I've had her here for the last couple of days. My mom also just came in today, which is Saturday. And Kevin actually went on his first out of town trip. He is um, camping with some of his friends. So it has been a couple of crazy days and I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and film a video. I'm hoping I can get through this with um, as quickly as possible because Ethan is starting to kind of wiggle around and wake up from his nap. So um, I'm going to go through everything that is the baby must-haves as far as everything that has worked out for me from beginning um, of him coming home and everything that I have accumulated throughout the time um, that he's been home. And hopefully it helps you guys out with some stuff that you might need for your baby. I'm going to jump right into the video. I am also going to link below the video that I did with my um, my baby haul I believe is what it was it's like my baby shower baby haul I don't remember what exactly I called it but I'm gonna link it down below that is pretty much my number one watch video and it has pretty much all of the stuff that I've had um, besides a couple of things that we picked up along the way but um, I'll link that below I have a part one and I have a part two and uh, like the video if you do like it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me some comments down below let me know what's going on with you guys I want to kind of interact with everybody and don't forget to follow me on social media I am mostly on Instagram um, Twitter I don't really do but I do link it to my Instagram so just in case you have Twitter um, follow me on there I've posted tons of pictures and videos of Ethan and just things that have been going on in my life so I hope you guys enjoy the video I'm gonna quit chit-chatting and get right into it so first things first obviously you're gonna need diapers and wipes and ointments and stuff like that. Um, the wipes that we've been using are the Huggies ones, the natural care. Um, we got a pack of these at the diaper shower that I did for Kevin and we got a pack of these. We got a pack of the Target cucumber brand and then we also had some Pampers wipes. I like the Pampers ones because they're nice and plush. I don't like the Target ones because they're very thin. Um, it is nice that it has like the cucumber smell and everything, but I'm not a fan of them just because they're not nice and plush and thick for his little bottom. So I like the Huggies ones. I was looking at the difference in the chemicals really that's in them and this just they don't seem to have as much as the Pampers ones even though they're the sensitive ones um, Pampers from what I saw doesn't carry a line that is like an all-natural line um, this one says it's 99% water I haven't tried the water wipes but I'm really happy with the Huggies one so these are the ones we've been using um, as far as diapers I don't have one out here with me but we're using Pampers we did try Huggies no, we tried Loves, and we haven't tried Huggies. We don't like Loves. I like Loves because they don't smell like Pampers do. Pampers, to me, have this like weird smell once um, baby Ethan pees in it, and I'm not a fan of it. Kevin likes the fact that it does have the line on it, and you're able to see when he does pee, but the scent of it, I'm not a fan of. Um, so we have the Pampers ones, and then we tried the Loves ones. The Loves ones do not absorb anything once he poops like crazy. So um, it just kind of spreads all through and we're just not a fan of them. So we do have a couple that we're still going through. We did buy some more Pampers. Um, I did see that there's Pampers Swaddlers and then there's Pampers Baby Dry. 
I don't know what the difference is. We were trying to find out when we were there, but didn't see anything different on it. But if you know what the difference is, let me know down below in the comments because we weren't sure and we haven't opened up the new box of the Pampers Baby Dry. So let me know in the comments down below. Um, moving on, for shower stuff like that, we have been using the um, bathtub and the swing that the hospital gave us. The bathtub that I got in my baby shower stuff, I did return just because the one we have works for us. It's nice. Everything's great with it. So it's just one of the blue ones. I would suggest just maybe holding off on buying one because our hospital just gave it to us. And from what I've seen and heard is that a lot of hospitals give you the bathtub. So it's something that you possibly won't even need to purchase. So that's what we've been using. Um, the nail clippers I've been using so much. His nails grow so fast. His fingernails. His toenails not so much but his fingernails grow so fast. It's like every other day I feel like I'm cutting his nails. So I just have these and they're from um, Babies R Us. I like the Avino Baby. I tried the Baby Ganix. I hate the smell of it as well. So I'm not a fan of it. Um, so I've been using the Avino Baby brand. I have this. I have the the lotion um, and I think it has two lotions that come in it so I do like this quite a bit um, the other thing actually that we didn't even think of was just a little um, this is a munchkin brand just little um, water scooper just this works out very well just because you can scoop the water and get it like all in their hair um, didn't really think about that when we were looking and shopping for him. Um, we ended up getting this as a last minute gift from one of my friends at work and it's been one of the nicest things. The nice thing about it is that it bends and folds because in the bathtub you need something that's flexible because you have to get around baby and then you have to get around the actual bathtub. So this is actually really nice. So another thing that you'll want to get is going to be just burp cloths and um, just the ones that go around their neck, the bandanas. So we have these from Aiden and I. I love this actual um, material. It's so nice and it's very absorbent. So I really like these. These are just the bandanas that go around his neck. I have a ton. I mean, I have bought so many burp cloths. It's ridiculous. Um, we had, I don't know, just a few uh, the first couple of weeks and we were just going through them so often and we had to do laundry like every other day just because we needed more birth cloths so um, we just went and bought out more bought more so that we can get just like a couple more days uh, without having to do so much laundry so I would recommend whether you're breastfeeding or you're not or plus beanies um, after a bath or just in general here when we're at home um, I put beanies on him I have gone crazy with the Knox ones I have some from Target I have some from Babies R Us I bought the Knox ones I bought I don't know how many different ones we have but the Knox ones by far are my favorite. Um, they're nice and stretchy and they are just super cute and slouchy. I've mentioned them in previous videos. I've mentioned that I have a coupon code for them. Um, I don't remember how long the coupon code is until but I'll link it down below for you guys because I'm not sponsored by them by any means anything like that but these are by far my favorite. We also use swaddles so some people swaddle, some people don't swaddle. We swaddle because he flares like crazy. Um, he did that in my belly, and I had even told Kevin when he comes out, he's going to have to be a baby that gets swaddled because he does. He goes nuts. He flares his arms, his legs, so then he just doesn't sleep if he does that. So we were swaddling with these. Again, they're just the Aiden and an I swaddles. Um, I really like these just because they're nice and soft and they move with him. Um, it's They're just a nice material. Now, he is now almost six weeks old and he's starting to break out of those. And that happened the last couple of days. So I went out and bought a couple other swaddles that have the Velcro on them now. 
Um, and those ones are what have been saving our lives at night. Um, he's now sleeping longer and he doesn't break out of them as much. So um, I have him in one of them right now and then the other one is in the wash. I have to purchase more. I only bought two here recently to see if they worked out. But I love them. I think they are the Swaddle Me swaddles. I'll link them down below. I'll make sure once I go pick them up to see what the brand is. I think it's like Gerber Life or something like that. I'll put it down below, um, but those are really nice material and it keeps them in there. So I'm a fan of them. Um, another thing that I recently just picked up is the Wubbinub. He loves the Advent Soothies. So these have been very just lifesavers too. He likes to soothe with them. He doesn't use it all day long or anything like that, but every once in a while he just wants to soothe and this is what's been working. So the soothies are what he's loving and then I bought the Wubbinub just so that it helps keep it in his mouth because he just kind of throws it out but then he like startles himself and wakes up again. So this kind of helps out to get him to sleep. Once he's asleep, he kind of just lets it go and then I can take it away from him and he's good to go. But um, he likes this. He's been playing with it too. So it's just nice because it sits like right on his chest and then this just goes in his mouth. So I really do like that. But if you don't want to buy like the actual Wubbinub, because they're actually pretty expensive. I think it was like 20 bucks for that thing. Um, you can just buy the Advent ones. Obvious ones are onesies. I will, I did want to mention that he was a 9 pound, 11 ounce baby. He fit into newborn for about five days and then that was it. Um, he was in basically zero to three right after that. There was a couple onesies that were newborn that still fit him, but other than that, nothing else there was a couple brands that just didn't work for him. Um, I wanted to mention the Gerber ones. I like the Gerber ones. They're, they're nice and snug, and the necks aren't huge. So you can, you know, stretch it out to fit his head in, but then they're, they come back and they stay closed. We have his little brush. As you can see in the pictures, he's got a ton of hair, so we have to brush it right after we give him a bath. Um, it's still just crazy afterwards. He just has, like, crazy Einstein hair so it's so funny but um, Kevin really likes to use this after the bath and just comb his hair out and they have fun with it um, and then the other thing we use we have a ton of washcloths we use the washcloths but I wasn't a fan of them I actually ended up buying these they're little mitts so you just put your hand in and you grab the the lotion or not lotion but the um, the shower gel and you just put it in here and you're able to like kind of move around and not have to worry about holding a washcloth if that makes sense so you can like just put this on and you know hold them up too to like sit them up and then you know hold them I just like these a ton uh, I got these from Target so I've got these two and they're just helpful so I just wanted to mention those a couple other things, um, he's actually sleeping in it right now, but the rock and play. The rock and play is amazing. Um, I put it next to my bed and he sleeps there for now. We have his crib still set up, but he's still sleeping upstairs with us for now. So he's in the rock and play. I'll show you the monitor because he's in there right now, as you can see. So he's just sit laying in there in the rock and play. Um, that's something that has really helped us out from the very, very beginning, and it has been a lifesaver. I had mentioned in videos previous that we had bought the um, uh, pack and play, did not like that. We are 100% for the rock and play, and that is everything he's been sleeping in, and it's just been a lifesaver because he feels snug in there, he sleeps well in it, everything's great. The other couple things that I have are just kind of blankets like this. So he likes to sleep in this lounger back here. Um, this is the boppy. I use the boppy for breastfeeding and just to hold him too, just to give your arms some support. Um, and then with family, we've got some, you know, 
older grandparents and um, great grandparents that come over that don't feel 100% comfortable just holding him without anything underneath them. So we have them use the boppy, just put it underneath them, have their arm um, rested on this, and then they can hold him without having to worry about their arm being super tired or anything like that. So I'm a fan of the boppy. We use it all the time. The other way I do use this, I put this right in front of me on my tummy and I sit him here facing this way, facing the same way I'm facing and I'll burp him that way or we'll also just do tummy time where his hands lay right on top of this and then he just sits up and you know is wiggling around or whatnot. So I'm a fan of it. I like it. I know some people say that you can just use a pillow. I think that's great too but this just is a little more um, versatile because it does have the rounded um, structure to it. So I'm a fan of it. And um, I got this from Babies R Us. So the thing I was talking about is the Boppy Lounger. So this is one that we got from our baby shower too. And I was actually thinking of returning this. But then one day I opened it up. I put him on it and he loved it. So we ended up keeping it. Um, we just have it on the couch. So it's really nice because we can be watching movies or TV, eating dinner here on the table and whatever we want to do and he can just be laying here either sleeping or he's hanging out. He likes to have a blanket below him. So we just have these um, thicker blankets, not the swaddles. We actually use a thicker blanket and we put it down for him and then when he's in the actual um, boppy lounger will kind of swaddle him so once you swaddle him into it and you can like really get your hands underneath it he just sleeps well and he just loves it and he hangs out and everything's great his life is amazing and he just is like happy baby so that has been something that we have really enjoyed using um, just different blankets and stuff like that the other thing that's upstairs that I wanted to mention is the um, the little owl it's the skip hop owl where it has the night light and then it has a couple different songs to it it has the heartbeat it has a projector um, for your ceiling that you can use when you know he's in his room whatever at night and that has been a lifesaver too because um, he likes the noise he does like having some type of noise. If it's quiet, he won't sleep. So we use the heartbeat one and it helps out so much. Once we go upstairs to put him down, we turn it on and he's just kind of getting drowsy and falls right asleep. So I do really like that. We bought a swing. I just bought it yesterday. I tried to put him in it and he was not happy. So I'm going to try again tonight to see if he likes it, but I'm not 100% sure. I bought the Fisher Price one. I'll link that one down below and um, show you guys what it is in case you're interested. The other thing I wanted to mention that was a fail um, was the uh, monitor that we got the first time. So we ended up getting the gosh, I can't remember the brand of it. I will also link that one down below, but it's a little owl. Um, so the monitor, not the monitor, but the actual camera is an owl. And then the monitor is just a tiny little monitor, not touchscreen or anything like that. We ended up buying that one because I saw online it had somewhat good reviews. Um, and then it wasn't as expensive as all the other ones. Of course, you don't want to spend a ton of money, but it sucked. I mean, it was terrible. Used it for, gosh, a couple of weeks. And yesterday, I was fed up with it. I could not take it anymore. And we went to Target and I told them I need to return this because it is terrible. First of all, the volume on it, it would turn on and off. So I know some monitors, like the one that we ended up exchanging it for, which I'll show you guys, um, we exchanged it for this particular model and you can go on and actually change, basically it's called Vox, V-O-X, and you can change it to where the screen has is motion or voice activated and if it hears any type of noise, the screen turns on. Or you can leave it on at all times, which is what I like to do. And 
I like to be able to turn the volume up or just turn it down if I don't need to listen to it. That one, you had no option. It would just basically shut off on its own and you wouldn't hear anything. He would be crying in the other room and it wouldn't even turn on. The screen was on, but the actual sound would not turn on. So then he'd be sitting in there crying for like two minutes and you can't hear anything. I mean, like we have pretty thick walls and I was he was in the bedroom and I was in the kitchen and finally it like turned on for a second and I heard him crying so then I went into the other room and grabbed him but I mean it was just kind of like what the heck you know this is what it's supposed to be for and I can't even hear him when he's crying it just randomly would turn on on its own the other thing that I didn't like on it was that it you couldn't really see clearly it just was very like pixelated and you just couldn't see clearly which is something that you want to be able to see obviously it's your baby sleeping um, there was times where I was like oh my gosh you know new mom here is he breathing you know I want to be able to see that so it's just like stuff like that I'm like this monitor completely sucks and we paid what a hundred and sixty bucks for it Granted, there's way better ones, which we ended up going and paying $80 more for the one that we got, but it's 100% better. I'll link the actual mod model down below, um, but it's by Samsung, and this one was $2.29 at Target. Um, but this one, as you can see, you can see him very clearly on there, and you can even zoom in to where you can get really close to his face. Granted, I have him pretty close to the camera, so if I were to push him back a little bit more, I can move the actual um, camera down a little bit more so I can see more of him. Um, so then you can also go in one more time, and as you can see, it's like his forehead. And you're able to actually see his his motion like you actually can see him breathing or you can see him moving the other one you could not see that you had to like be staring at it for like five seconds without blinking to see if you could see any type of movement so this one's really nice um and if i turn it up you can actually hear his um skip hop owl white noise or the heartbeat so you can hear everything it doesn't shut off it stays on you can hear him crying it has this nice piece in the back where you can prop it up and then it's also a belt clip so if you're walking around the house doing laundry or chores whatever you're doing um, that'll work and then it also has um, you can see him moving um, you also have a talk and then you also can play music through it. So overall, I give this one 101% as far as everything for this one. The owl, stay away from it. It's terrible. You won't be happy with it. So um, pretty much that is everything that I've been using with him. He's very low key. He doesn't need a ton. He's just kind of happy if he's in a onesie or even just in his diaper. He's just very happy that way. He can be in the lounger. He doesn't really, he's never been in a swing. He doesn't need to be rocked all the time or anything like that. He's just very happy, content baby. So we haven't had a ton of stuff that we've had to buy. So I'm sorry if you were looking for more, but this is basically everything that he's been using. Um, I did want to recommend the, um, the stroller pack that we ended up getting. We got the Graco Graco mode system. It's like a 10 in 1. It's amazing. Um, the bottom piece is just basically the base of the stroller and you can take off the piece where you would actually use when he's a toddler. So when your baby is a toddler you can then put that piece back on and then not use the car seat. Um, Right now, we're just using, obviously, the car seat because he's a tiny little one. Um, but this is basically what it looks like. I'll try to show you guys a little bit more of it. Um, just very simple here. And it just has that little piece on the inside. This um, opens up. It just, it's an amazing one. I would recommend it by far. I just have been so happy with it. And again, this is one piece. Then it also goes to the um, 
toddler seat that you can use, but it's not bulky because you can actually take that toddler seat piece out and then you can um, just put this one in. So I would recommend it if you're looking for a stroller set. Um, this has been amazing. It glides nicely. It moves around nicely. It's not heavy. It's not bulky. Anything like that. So I just wanted to mention that in this video. Um, outside of that, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. I wanted to come back on here and show you little Ethan. Um, he just woke up from his nap. As you can see, he's got his crazy hair going. He's smiling. Uh, <laughs> did you just wave? Hi. Say hello. He is just in the swaddle that I mentioned. So I'll look at the tag here um, and put it down below for you guys so you have it and you know which one I'm talking about. But I wanted to come back on here and have him on here and show you baby Ethan since I haven't um, come on and shown him to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys get something from it and I will see you guys later. Say bye. Bye.